us. Mic test one, two, three. The oh, music's going to be a little loud because we're in the intro, but can you hear us? Hello, hello. Yes, I see yes. Yes, can hear you. Okay. Hiya! We're going to start in like a few seconds. At, at 1 p.m. PDT. What? It's not? No. Wait, my, mine says 12.59 p.m. <laughs> it's gonna go by my time. Okay, 12 p.m. Okay, let's start. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So. We're going into full view. No. Hi, guys! We weren't... Um, I think our last stream was in August? I think it was in August. But, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but... Hello, it's not just me today. Um, I know you've been introduced to CM Curious on Monday? Yeah, Monday. So you've been introduced to CM Curious Monday. Um, so I think this is where it is, right? <laughs> We're in different locations, so I think it's this way. So yeah, I, I think some of you guys will recognize his face, some of you guys won't. And I'm going to sort of give the floor to him. Yeah? Give us an introduction. So, um... Hello everybody, it's good to see you guys. Uh, I introduced myself a few days ago. Some of you guys are actually already familiar with me and uh, there's actually a lot of familiar faces that I used to see back in the Maple Story 2 community, but I am CM Curios. I am the second community manager for Maple Story. Um, pretty new to the game. Uh, I've, I've already explained it. I've been relying on you guys for guidance. I've been talking to you guys on Discord. On the official Discord, on the forums, on the Maple Central Discord, and on the Reddit as well. Uh, and it's it's really... It's nice to be here. Um, after the events of Maple Story 2, I was the interim community manager over in Mabinogi for about half a year, give or take. Uh, and then after their community manager came back, they offered me the position to be your second CM. Uh, and I took it in a heartbeat. It was it was great. And the moment I came back, you guys, you guys actually gave me a really warm welcome. Uh, and there were a lot of familiar faces. It was just really nice to see. Because after Maple Story 2, I was afraid that I wasn't going to see a lot of you guys again. Uh, and it was actually really sad. So, you know, the day that I introduced myself, and then I see people typing, and it's just people that I used to see all the time in Maple Story 2's Discord and uh, in game and everything. I got, I got so many DMs too from people in the guild discords from Maple Story 2 uh, that congratulated me that moved over to Maple Story after Maple Story 2. You know, it was just very heartwarming. Yeah. <laughs> what class am I maining for MS1? So I originally got baited into starting on Vera. Okay, uh, you can't say I, baited. I baited. I, I, I was promised. I was promised fashion and items. Okay, I had the fashion for you. You didn't level up enough. <laughs> yeah, no, I did. I did. I, 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 had, <laughs> I, I was high enough to take the things on the second day because uh, I couldn't play much on the first day. And then there was this whole thing on Reddit after I introduced myself and they were like, oh, why are all the CMs on Barra? And I was like, oh God, there's like Mabinogi all over again because Mabinogi, all the staff were on one server and it's the same thing. I got baited with items over there too. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll start over on Reboot. That way we have one CM on non-reboot and 1cm on reboot so i did start over on reboot a few days ago uh obviously you guys aren't allowed to know my character it's a completely different situation than in maple story 2. in maple story 2 people knew who my character was because i was a streamer before i was a cm but here i can actually be anonymous uh what do i mean when i was on Barra, i started with hoyoung because i thought the character design was awesome and i still do but when I was picking uh, my first character, I was really caught between uh, Hoyoung and uh, Kinesis. 
So when I started over on reboot, I uh, I actually went with Kinesis as my first character. I'll make I'll remake Ho Young later on. Yes, my plan is to my goals is to uh, drink as many blue pots <laughs> as possible to restore PP. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> uh. I'll, I'll play Jet eventually. I saw there were a lot of people who told me that I should play Jet to just get an idea of what the class is like, especially post 200 and, you know, everything that the class goes through. And apparently it's really important to level one up for Legion anyways, so I'm sure I'll have to do it eventually, so. I recommend Terra Burning. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was gonna wave it for Terra Burning, so. That's where, that's where how I got my jet to 200. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, someone was asking about the pink beam behind you. <laughs> I, I, this is a, it's, it's a little LED speaker with, uh, it's programmable LED and someone uploaded a little pink bean dancing gif on it, so I, I just threw it on there. But yeah, I, I think that was a good introduction. Um, we are, or if you guys have some questions for him, feel free to sort of type. We are going to sort of dismiss him after a little bit until, towards the end, I think he's going to come back. Just for like yeah. a outro. I'm still uh I'm still acclimating to the game, and uh, because I've been just kind of focusing on just playing the game on the side at the moment, I haven't been able to keep up as much. So I don't actually have a lot to say today. But of course, if you guys have questions for me, you can always DM me or tag me on Discord or Reddit or the forums, any of those kinds of things, uh, and we could talk. I can't answer your you know, really nuanced questions yet because I'm still learning. But um, again, I want to say thank you to everyone so far who has been extremely helpful in explaining things and helping me learn. Uh, I was a little worried at first. I was like, they're not going to want a CM who doesn't know how to play. And then I was like, oh, you know, actually, this isn't so bad. They're actually really welcoming. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think we definitely have a welcoming community, especially for the new players. Um, I see them ar around on our Discord, on Reddit all the time. Yeah, I think you'll sort of melt right in. <laughs> but, huh. Yes, I was a CM who did it. Well, I, pl I did play MapleStory before I became a CM, but not as much. Um, and I definitely learned a lot after I became a CM. A lot of players did help me out, and as I sort of face issues and face things one by one and as updates go, I think I learned a lot. So, and that's how it'll go for you too. It just comes naturally. There's a lot of things MapleStory is, like we have, what, 14 years of history. It's very difficult to learn in like a few months, so. Yeah, I think that's where it's gonna be kind of hard because, you know, with MS2, I was a, a really dedicated player before I became a CM and here, I have to catch up on uh, a lot of years of knowledge from people from, I guess, uh, <laughs> a really, really non-existent foundation. Yeah, I think, I think it's sort of nice for someone not to know MapleStory when they come. I think it sort of gives you a fresh mind and... It is cool though, because uh, it, it, it's, it's like, it's really backwards. Because when people who played MapleStory went to MapleStory 2, they thought it was cool to see a lot of the MapleStory, you know, monster designs and characters redone in 3D. But for me, it's like completely backwards because I didn't play MapleStory. And so when I I've been playing recently and seeing what was formerly 3D back in 2D sprites is, uh, it's nostalgic, but backwards. Wait, I just saw, wait. Max, are you sure? Wait, I just removed the music because you said it was jittery. <laughs> we had this issue you yesterday. Yes, in admin mode. I'm pretty sure I did. I had it open yesterday. <laughs> okay, I'm freaking out now. <laughs> okay, I removed the music for now for our section, but I'm kind of scared that it's gonna be like that onward. <laughs> I should have reminded you. No, I kept the mode. OBS open yesterday. It should be the same one. <laughs> Wait, is the same client from yesterday of OBS? It should be. Oh, I should have restarted it. <laughs> I never had this issue. MS always has audio issues. Oh my gosh. 
Oh yeah, I we just turned off the music for now. Yeah, just let it. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna continue. If it does, um, well, that's gonna be a bummer. <laughs> Huh. It's okay, they don't need music. Yeah, they you know, a... it's fine. It's fine. You know, I spent hours <laughs> looking for music, but that's fine. <laughs> they, they, they probably mute the in-game music anyways and listen to their own music. Wait, does the in-game music jitter too? Let me, wait, let me test something. Is this jittery? No. No? No, okay. In-game music works! We're good! <laughs> This is the music you guys will be hearing the whole stream. Okay. Okay, okay. That's good. Great, great, great. Thank you. Okay, we got a solution. We're good. But yeah, I think going back. Sorry, we always have audio issues. Uh, going back. Um, yeah, we do we definitely want to welcome Curious. And thank you so much for being very welcoming to him as well. Um, we really appreciated it. And we saw the Reddit post as well, etc. Um, as you can see, um, I'm in the office um, while Curious is in the comfort of his home right yep. now, as you can tell. Yep. Um, so in a sense, we are going to be sort of handing him off to be streaming MapleStory onward, uh, at least during our work from home duration. And I might make some appearances here and there, and I might be assisting with him for the first few of his streams. but. Yeah, so you'll be seeing Curious a lot more and a lot less of me. So if you don't see me on stream, that's usually the reason why. So just to let everyone know. Awful internet at home. Okay, I, I can't deny that. <laughs> Is literally the only CM that needs to go into the office. <laughs> okay, you know, better internet. you know, Callahan had to too. Not anymore. Well, he they said equipment. No, he said his internet wasn't that great either. He's just gonna use hotspot. Yeah, take that. <laughs> but yeah, Callahan and I were the only ones who had to come in for to the office because our internets are really bad. And yeah, so we're sort of handing it off to Curious. That's one one of the really big part that I really appreciate having him as our second CEO. <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> before we send him off and start our update preview, uh, let's do a giveaway. How does that sound? We're going to have three giveaways throughout the whole stream. The first one's going to be now, one's going to be in the middle, one towards the end. So we are, be go we are going to be choosing a winner by raffle. Um, we are be <laughs> We're going to be giving away a Yeti mug. Uh, for Yeti mug, I can actually show you guys because it's actually open. Uh, other two, I can't. So just make a note of this. This is how the Yeti mug works. And then... I don't know if you can see it inside, but there's like, and there's a logo here. This is how all the mugs are going to look. It's just, it's just that this one's Yeti. So if Kyrios can choose a keyword for us, we'll move on. Yeah? Kyrios? Let's, let's do a... Let's do a throwback to to my, my old peeps and make the make the keyword young frog just for today. <laughs> young the people frog. that know, just so that everyone here knows that it's rigged. It's gonna be someone who's gonna who played Maple Story two probably. <laughs> okay, okay, well, I'm fine with that. Okay, if you don't know, you don't know. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. That's that's all you need to know. Okay, so it's going to be young frog. It's going to be command young frog. Okay, exclamation point young frog. Open and giveaway now. You need it's to do one it. One word. There's no space. One word. One word. Exclamation point young frog. No space. Okay, check. Got it. We got it. Okay. Well, How many people are you are you picking? One. <laughs> oh. We get physical. Oh, that's true. I yeah. guess it's, an, it's, like, it's, a, it's a nice mug. Yeah, we get physical. So we do three giveaways. We do two to three giveaways per stream. I want one of those mugs. My mug keeps leaking out the bottom whenever I pour anything into it. I don't think it's doing its purpose. <laughs> what no, mug are you it's using? 
it's the the free mug that we got in the kit, you know? Oh, with wait, the, the tumbler looking thing? Yeah, yeah, the little tumbler. I don't know. After like three uses, it just leaks ah. water out the bottom. <laughs> Disclaimer, this is not talking about our merch store tumbler. This is not that. It's another free no, one that we got from the company. It's something else. Pretty sure mine was the only defective one, too. It's of all, called a of, hole. Of all it, things. It's not a hole. But actually, I can't confirm because I didn't use mine. <laughs> Can I have yours if you're not going to use it? I'll look for it. And I if need I find a new one. I'll look for it. And if I find it, I'll give it to you. <laughs> okay, going to close the giveaway in a minute. Mug leaks after three uses. How many people answered this? Uh, I don't think I could check. But a lot. <laughs> if it's not a Maple Story 2 player, reroll it. No. <laughs> You're on MS1 stream. Wake up. Yes, I know, but I still have a soft spot for him. Okay, going to close in five, four, three, two, one. Closing giveaway now. Okay, we're gonna have one winner. Uh, please be here. You have to comment. If not, we're gonna reroll. So, do 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 do. Whoop. Oh wait a minute. Oh wait. What? Did Callahan mess mm -hmm. up with this? What happened? Oh, I got it. Oh. I Fallen Dawn. Are you here? I Fallen Dawn. I F A L L E N D A W N. Are you here? Can you type? Can you type on chat? Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> That's my alt account. I just really wanted a new mug. <laughs> oh, really? Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations! You don't have to ship it to me. Just give it to me the next time you see me. Oh, okay, okay. It's totally fine. But, okay. Wait, oh, yeah. they're MS2 player. <laughs> Wait, Actually? really? Legit? I don't know, they're not writing afterwards. But okay, uh, first, congratulations on win winning the Yeti mug. Um, please DM Maple Story. Um, I will reach out to you after the stream for your information. So please DM Maple Story. If not, I will hunt you down. Wait, let me put your ID in. Don't worry, guys. There's still two more chances to win yeah. that mug throughout this stream. There are two more chances. Oh, yeah. So they are... Okay, they loved MS2. Level 70 striker. They own all of Sunset's houses. I think you would know what that means. Okay, then. What do I DM you? Just DM me that you want. So that I could DM you back. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. So I think this is where we sort of dismiss Sirius. Yeah, we are going to move on with the update preview and then we are going to come back and he's going to do another, he's going to join me with the outro. That sounds fine? That sounds good to me. I'll be back at the end of the stream. I'll be listening in and talking in chat with you guys. Yes, so until then, soon. we'll be going into our update preview for 217. Then Goku returns Asura War. So let's change our screen. Sorry, sorry, I forgot to turn off the music. <laughs> sorry, sorry. There we go, right? It works. <laughs> sorry, I apologize. Should have, should have restarted the OBS. It's okay, Curious will remember. <laughs> it's, it's the OBS, it's the OBS. We had this issue yesterday. Okay, let's go on test. Whoop. Hi guys, we're back. Or I'm back. So... <laughs> you did hear a Discord notification. I'm sorry. I should've turned that off. Should I turn that off right now? Uh, turn that off.
Okay. Should be good now. Okay. Hi guys. <laughs> we are back. Um, today's li live stream preview is going to be about V2 to 17. Then Goku returns Asura War. Um, as you can see from our preview on Twitch, you can actually use the command exclamation part preview to see our update preview post. But yeah, Sengoku era is returning. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking if the Sengoku Hakase badge is coming back, the bottle badge. Um, unfortunately, it is not. It, it, so event is Sengoku era, not Sengoku high. Just to clarify, it won't be coming back for 217. Um, Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> level, okay, start with the level 235, okay? Stop, just stop. <laughs> but yeah, so I am going to sort of give you a run-through of the event. And we are going to move on to the Halloween event and the Haste event. And then we're going to have an outro. So, and we are going to have a giveaway in the middle. So just tune in for that as well. Um, so, Sengoku Returns to Asura Crisis is the name of the event itself. Uh, it is a continuation of the previous lore and storyline. If you play through the content with Hayato and Kana characters, there will be a special storyline. So just keep that in mind. Um... <laughs> yeah, so that's how it's going to work. Right now, the test server time is sort of way up in late October. So I did have all of the scenarios completed on this character, but you will see this icon. You will see the Sengoku era icon, and from here you can get all the information, quests, etc. So when the event starts, you will be getting a passive buff. The Dawn's Bloom. Uh, right now this isn't upgraded, it does level up when you use the Sengoku key item that you can earn from the Sengoku scroll UI. I will be showing you the Sengoku scroll UI right after as well. So this buff will constantly level up as you do it. Um, I think it has about six, six, eight, eight level ups. So this is the passive for the event. It will go away after. <laughs> I'm not going to flag race. Stop. <laughs> well, yeah, so this passive skill is going to be leveling up. It's not permanent. It is going to go away when the event ends. So just take note of that. And as you play through the event, you will be earning a Sengoku Supply Pack item. You can have up to 30 per world. And opening that, you will get various, event, various items at random. And opening more of those, you will be getting more rewards, opening 5, 10, 15, etc. So you will have a lot more detail on those on the patch notes. I'm not going to do flag rates. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. And the scenarios for the Sengoku era will unlock each week. The first one will be unlocked on the maintenance day. It is going to be October 7th, if you don't know. The October 7th after maintenance, you will be able to complete the first scenario. The second scenario will be available, I believe, on October 14th. And third will be October 21st. <laughs> yeah. So those will be going on. Um, so as they unlock, you can complete them. And as you complete them, you will also be getting a reward for completing the weekly scenario. So keep that in mind. Um, someone get rid of this flag race for me. <laughs> so, can I just click it and just get rid of it? Everyone's still distracted. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Okay, a lot of people are talking about the balance patch. Um, I will be talking about tours a little bit later. Uh, click and decline. I know, but I, don't, I want to move on. I want to move on. Stop talking about flag. But yeah, so let's talk about the scroll. The Sengoku scroll. Oh, it's gone. gone. Okay. Let's talk about the Sengoku scroll. So when you first open it up, it's going to look like this. Nothing's going to be filled. You can't click anything. As you complete each scenario, one will be unlocked after another, it is going to be a little similar to what you would see for Heroes of Maple. Um, so as you complete them... <laughs> I know, I skipped flag. Just drop it, drop it, okay? Drop it. So this is the scroll that you are going to see in the beginning. As you complete each scenario, each will be unlocked. Um, but I am going to sort of uh, do something. The sound is going to be gone for a moment. I'm going to show you guys how it works. 
when it's all unlocked. Okay, there you go. Bye -bye. <laughs> so this is how the Sengoku scroll will look like after you've completed all the scenario. You can click them. There are three because there's three scenarios. <laughs> Uh, and as you op unlock these, there are going to be small missions and goals within it. So as you complete it, you will be getting like these. There is the mount. There this is a Sengoku key that you will need to upgrade your Don's Bloom skill. And there's etc. There's more. You will get you'll get to see them when the UI is available and after you complete the scenario. So keep those. And I will be showcasing some of the rewards as well. There are mounts, there are chairs, tapes, etc. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so a lot of these events or all of these rewards, I would say, are sort of different variants of one another. Um, so if, if for instance, these are the capes that you can earn. These are cash items. They're the same style, different, I guess, appearance of it. Uh, and I don't know why, but these are the chairs that you will be getting. Uh, but this is literally the same with different flags. <laughs> At least they are tradable within world. At least they're tradable. So I guess... One of your, three of your characters can have each, you know, if you want. <laughs> uh, and you will be getting this permanent chair as well. But also an odd thing is you get this chair and you get the same one as, a, oh, not that one, <laughs> as a mount. So you'll have the chair and the mount. I exactly have no clue why, but if you want to move with it, you know, it's it's possible. <laughs> yeah. So just just keep that in mind. That it's it's there, the chair and the mount. And at, at the end, if you complete all the goals, you will be able to get a chair like this. You're right here. Halloween mount leaked. I'm going to be showing after like ten minutes. <laughs> but yeah. This is the chair that you'll go get, and that eventually this is the title that you'll be getting at the end of the whole scenario. So these are some of the showcases that you are going to be getting. So just keep those in mind. And these are all from, well, except for the title. They're all from the Sengoku scroll. So you should be completing all those small missions. Yeah. Mm, does the haste event overlap with the Sengoku returns event? Mm. Yes, I would say yes. For a few days. For a few days. Haste is more towards the beginning of November, but I do believe it does bleed in a little. The title stats are not that great. All stats 15, max HP plus 1000. Uh, okay, so that is sort of the scroll, but on the scroll, you will be getting a coin called Mark of the Silver Wolf. You won't really have a use of that during the event duration, but keep it. We will, you will have a use of it eventually in the future, just not during this event. So just have it, keep it, and wait for our updates. <laughs> I have, I can't really share much afterward. Um, and let's move on to the ambush of Oda. Ambush the Oda. That's the first event. That is going to start right after the maintenance ends. Um, it's not really, uh, I guess, proactive. Is that I would say? Um, this is available for all characters in all worlds. Um, it doesn't matter if you're, I guess, level 101, etc. I think as long as the level 101 character starts the quest, all characters are available to participate in Ambush the Oda. It's where you can, when you sort of use a rune or a lure, Monsters sort of get spawned and you kill it and you will get items that you will need for the Sengoku scroll event And there are also random portals that will appear in the map when you're hunting monsters near your level And as you enter you will be having a little mini game like how you do for Infernal Wolf So that is going to be going on in the Maple World for the whole time 
<sighs> but yeah, um, Hayato and Kana won't be getting a, a skill skill update or skill change in. So just to let you guys know, uh, I will be sort of talking about it again towards the end, but 217 doesn't have job balances, um, unfortunately, which means the away, uh, the winter update, the winter update is going to be very big. It's going to be very big and the patch notes is going to be very long. <laughs> yes. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for the job balances and have been asking for it. We usually do have it during this time, but we don't. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's the ambush to Oda. Um, and afterwards, when you, you complete scenario two, so week two, you will be unlocking Yokai Advance. Yokai events. Okay, I just gotta move on. <laughs> you are going to be unlocking Yokai events after you complete scenario two. That is sort of you are accustomed to that sort of a system. So, uh, ignore that. Oh, did my time change? I adjust that again. Sorry about that. Change. <laughs> Change the time for a bit. <laughs> Harry Bo's daily attendance. Lol. There you go. Okay. Yokai events will be available when you complete the second scenario. Um, you can enter through the Sengoku era icon, or you can be also talking to this NPC on the Momiji Gaoka. Um, as you enter, you will be going into this map. So this is the event where you will have monsters, numbers, or number of monsters assigned to you based on your level, and you, you defeat it, and you, those monsters have high XP. I do believe we had an event like this during our... Arcade Adventure? Was it Arcade Adventure? I believe it might have been Arcade Adventure. But I'm not, I can't really call. I'm pretty sure it wasn't during our 14th anniversary. So, as you enter, you will be assigned the number of monsters based on your level, and as you defeat it, you will get EXP. Um, if you defeat all of them in, in a day, you will get more rewards. And this is daily per world. So, once your character goes in, only that character can enter again. So just keep that in mind. DMS player housing. I know, I want that too. What's the day per world? Oh, yeah. But a little bit different thing is you're going to be riding a mount. And you can only use three kind of skills. So you can't use your skills. <laughs> so that's a little bit of a difference than what we had before. But yeah, so right now at level 230, I think I was assigned 1,500. But yeah, so this is sort of the map that you'll be going into. The time limit, you don't have to really worry about it. It just has 30 minutes on it because we don't want you to be staying in the map for hours and hours and just the whole day. But... You can re-enter, even if the time run runs out, as long as you have the remaining enemies left. Yeah. This is the Yokai Advance. Let me go up. That is the Yokai Advance that will be unlocked in Scenario 2. And... <laughs> And there are going to be various other events as well, Mana Battle and Eliminate Oda Forces that will be unlocked after your second scenario as well. So for a Mana Battle, it's the one that you get like an invitation mark on top of your character's head at 45 minute mark every hour. That one, you can play up to four players, but it will be auto-assigned when you go into the lobby. So 
it's not like you can play with your friends or you can play with your party. So just keep that in mind. Um, and Eliminate Oda Forces is an event that's similar to sort of Mulong Dojo, where there are a total of 30 stages and you clear. And as each stage go, there will be some map gimmicks. There's going to be more difficult, I guess, monsters. And you will also be getting random buffs throughout the way. So the, all of these events will be giving you guys the Sengoku Supply Pack. So just keep that in mind. And we... <laughs> yes. What if you want to play by yourself? Well, the minimum is one player and maximum is up to four players for Mana Battle. So I'm not exactly sure if you can play by yourself voluntarily. I didn't, I didn't get the check. <laughs> the patch notes will come out next week. Probably on Tuesday. Yeah. But yes, uh, Flag Red East input lag has been reported to the, the team. Uh, we are still waiting on the progress of that, so we'll try to keep you guys updated. We'll check up on it again. But yeah, so I do want to show you the last... I'm not going to spoil the boss battle, but I do want to... Patches will be coming out next week, next week Tuesday. <laughs> so after you complete the scenario three on week three, you will be able to unlock the boss battle. Um, so the boss fight includes two phases in total and the difficulty will be based on your character's level. That is what I heard from our QA as well. <laughs> I'm trying to move as many maps as I can because it gives variety for the music. <laughs> Oh yeah, so this is sort of where you'll be going towards the end of the scenario? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there will definitely be going to be a boss battle that you will be participating in. The event one is solo. I have to check with the team for more details, but yeah. Um... <laughs> Uh, because I do see a lot of questions asking about the Dark Totems. Um, I do want to confirm that we do not have Dark Lord of Darkness for 217 update. Yes. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting, wanting it too. And as, as Halloween came up, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for it and see if it's going to be coming up, but not in 217. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's so much more to Sengoku era event that I didn't showcase. Um, some of them because of time issues, some of them because of capability issues on the test client. But I do hope you guys enjoy it. Um, as each week progresses, you will be getting more rewards, and including the Sengoku Scroll UI and also the Dawn's Bloom scale as well. So just. And I am going to move on to Halloween right after. <laughs> I have to remove the music for that too. Okay. Go, let's go. Let's go to... Flop! Turning off the music now. <laughs> You're gonna, you guys want to hear me changing maps, but that's fine. <laughs> Halloween event starts... 
Uh, a little later, yes, a little later, towards towards end of October. Okay, let's go back. What up? Hi. We're back. So, we are calling this event Return to Prendergast Mansion. Um, this is going to be your Halloween event. It's, go it's a lot less than what we had last year, but still, I think it's, it still has its merits. Um, it has its episodes that unlock every day. Um, until... I think it has 5 episodes in total. So it will unlock every day and the players who start late can complete them all together. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this is the map that you will be in and there's going to be episodes going on. You will be able to go, in, you'll be able to go into maps, complete quests, etc. to complete your Halloween missions. And you will be getting a lot of cosmetics from here. That's what Halloween is about. Cosmetics, right? I know when I first saw this face, I was like, oh, <laughs> oh. But yeah, so I will be showcasing some of the rewards, or maybe all of them, we'll see. So as you complete each episode, you will be getting a reward for it. And there are actual outfits for this one. This is one of the outfits that you can get. Um, these are not gender locked though. So I can actually wear the female version as well, as a male character. So that's a plus. It's actually not gender locked. I know we always have that issue with some of our outfits. But yeah, that's going on. And... <laughs> I'm, not going to sh I'm not going to spoil about the cash sales. I'm not going to say anything. And then, of course, our classic. You can choose between the neon or the classic one. <laughs> but yeah, and then you can also get the mount that I I spoiled. <laughs> Was it this one? Wait, no, it wasn't that one. This one. Oh, it can't be using this map. Okay, I'll move on. Let's move maps. I know, gender locked. I know, some of the chair was gender locked this year. And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> How? Why? Why is that the case? This is the mount that you will be getting for the Halloween event. I actually want this one. Probably gonna try to get it. I know, the Damien and the Lucid chairs. I really wasn't sure why they were gender locked. We did, that bring, we did bring up that concern, but... Does it fly? Maybe. It does. It does fly. I like it! <laughs> you know where I should be using this? In Magatia. <laughs> that was the perfect map last time. Well, yeah, so it's just episodes and you get rewards from it. A lot of them are cosmetics. I am with... I'm, I'm personally looking forward to cosmetics. I'm very into fashion story. <laughs> but yeah, and you will be able to choose one of the damage skins as well, but... I'll, I'll try to input all the reference images on our patch notes. Our patch notes will go live next week. Keep that in mind. And while we sort of move on towards haste and towards the end of the stream, I'm trying to keep... I'm, I'm going to try to keep this short so that we can have outro it curious and then post a uh, Bean Brigade right after too. So while we wait until I get prepped for haste, let's do another giveaway. Sorry about that. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go here. I'm gonna turn off the music. I'm gonna turn off the music. And then, okay, let's do a giveaway. 
What should our giveaway be? What should our Asura or Spooky? Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, let's do Asura. Let's just... The giveaway is going to be the mushroom, mushroom mug. Let me show you. It's going to look like this. It's a, it's a smaller screen, so I hope you can see it. This, I can't open it because it's not open, like the Yeti one is. But it is going to be similar to what the Yeti mug looked like. If you want to see Yeti mug again. So it's going to be a mug like this. But in orange mushroom. Let's keep that in mind. Okay. So while I get prepped for haste, let's do a giveaway. I think the keyword is going to be Asura. So let me hide my cam. <laughs> okay. Can I have a Yeti if I win? No, this is for an orange mushroom one. Let's reset. Asura. The giveaway is going to be exclamation part mark Asura. Opening giveaway now. Exclamation point Asura. Lowercase. Lowercase. Keep on coming, keep on coming. I forgot the music was off. <laughs> I should I should try to get the audio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep on coming. Mm -hmm. After we do introduce a bit of haste, I am going haste is going to be very short. So after, I'm, I'm going to share a little bit about the other events, like Sunny Sunday, um, etc. So, yeah. Keep on coming. I, am, I think I'm going to close in a minute or two. Just change the time and log race system. <laughs> okay, go, going to close in a minute. Close the giveaway now. Plop. Okay. Let's go back to our screen. Okay. There we go. The giveaway has been closed. Our winner for the... Oh. Well, we always have spell trace fever, so that's fine. <laughs> Our winner is going to be. Whoa, it's Sky. <laughs> Are you here? Whoa, it's Sky. W O A H I T S B U I. Are you guys here? Hello? Whoa, it's Sky. Can you type on chat, please? If you don't type, we are going to re roll. Hello? It's not rigged! Hey, 
Hey, you can say it's rigged. You won. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, if you can please DM MapleStory so I could reach out to you and get your information for the Maple <laughs> for the MapleStory mug shipment, please. Yes. Please DM MapleStory. The bot is not showing on chat. Oh, really? But it is. But at least I know I know who it is. <laughs> But yes, please DM MapleStory. If not, I will reach out to you. Wait. What? It's Sky. Okay, there we go. What? It's Sky one. What? It's Sky. <laughs> Did this person not know they won? Is that why that person was wrote they were it was rigged? <laughs> but yes, if you don't reach out, then I will be uh, hunting you down. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Okay. We changed the time. This is now in early November. You will see all the dates on patch notes next week. So Haste Plus is coming up. We are getting Haste Plus in the beginning of November. To exactly tell you the date, it's going to be November 4th. So yeah. Um, right now, we do have... This is the event. For last year's haste, I know we had nine boxes, but this year we have six, and instead we are getting a hasty hunting booster. When you open each box, you will be getting a booster as well. And you can use it throughout the day, but the available uses will reset each day at 12 a.m. UTC. Just keep that in mind. Um, the booster, when you use it, it will spawn sort of extra monsters in your map, and you will be able to defeat them for EXP. For the daily missions, I know there is what... I think the surprise mission one is still in question. It says three, but... I feel like that was still in question right now. It might be a little different when it goes live. We'll see. So just keep that in note. So yeah, this, this haste event is going to be going on. And also not just this UI and these hasty hunting boxes but all of you guys if you've played through the hasty event before you will know that there are special field perks as well um there's a lot there's like runes more surprise missions coming out etc so all those details you can see on the patch notes it is going live next week next week probably tuesday so just keep that a note but yeah so haste is pretty simple it is a little bit continuous of what you would know before but through it, you can get other items as well, such as a damaged skin or there is a chair that you did see on the section. Whoop. This chair, wait, let me go up. It doesn't show much. You'll be able to get these chairs as well. This chair and a damaged skin and there's also a title that you can get. But yeah, so this is how we got the damage skin. I do have the damage skin. You guys want to see it? It'll be this one. I will have a reference on the patch notes though, the image. How long does the title last? Uh, for this one, because it is a ti is, it is on a test client, the time isn't exactly shown, but I believe it's, it's normally 30 days now. <laughs> oh, I'm married to this is a test client. Uh, I don't know, this character was uh, married when I started using it, so. <laughs> Unit damage skin? Wait, you already know the unit damage skin. It's already on our patch notes in 216 right now. The Fairy Bros is still going on. It will continue to go on until the end of 217. California damage skin. <laughs> I think most of our fires are contained though. But yeah, Fairy Bros going giveaway giveaway. It will continue on until the end of the 217 patch. So just keep that noted. 
Um, and I am going to talk a little bit about the Sunny Sunday. I know we've been announcing 5, 10, 15 on the first week of Sunny Sunday past two patches, but we don't have that. So just be rest, rest assured, we don't have that. Uh, we, I don't think we even have 5, 10, 15 in Sunny Sunday this patch. Just keep that noted. Nothing you, don't, you have to prepare for over the weekend before the patch notes goes live. And I do want to sort of bring up one exciting news that I think everyone would really like to. Um, we have cash shop inventory transfer event coming up towards the end of November or middle of November. Yeah, a lot of you, a lot of you guys have been asking for it. It is coming back. Wait, I even have a. Ta-da! It is coming back, but it is in celebration of the 218 winter update. So just keep that in mind. It is coming back for the 218. It's just included in the 217 patch. Just yeah, just keep that in mind. And I know a lot of you guys who have Adele was asking for this event for such a long time since you guys didn't have the opportunity for this. Hoyoung, yeah, Hoyoung had it. We had it in January this year. So yeah. <laughs> so cash inventory will be in 217, but it's for celebration for 218, just to clarify. But okay, I think <laughs> I think it's time we go back to curious. Are you can you nod if you're ready? You're muted right now. <laughs> I'll unmute you. Okay, you're unmuted. Oh, okay, I'm here. Okay, let's move on. What? Hello. We're back. Hello again, everybody. I've been uh, I've been watching this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been creeping behind the scenes. Uh yeah. I feel like I've been breathing through things, and I'm like, wait, what? What was up next? <laughs> I was very tight on time. Oh my gosh. Has it actually been an hour already? Wow. I know, right? I told you, Maple Streams just go on. <laughs> Every time we're like, let's end early, guys. Let's end early. It never works. Well, it was, uh, it, it was great to be on today's stream. I'm actually looking forward a lot to hosting the, the future streams. Yes, so, it'll be, it'll uh, be you yours. Know, you guys will be seeing a lot of me in the future. But don't worry. It's not like uh, it's not like Ghibli's going anywhere. We'll we'll have her call in. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, I'll definitely try to be there for at least first first few of his streams. Um, but yeah, happy birthday! What? Whose birthday is it? I don't know. They're saying it's your birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's my birthday every day. Make sure to send me things. <laughs> okay. I'll shamelessly take free things. <laughs> Let's do our let's do our last giveaway. Uh, it is going to be a slime mug. It looks like this. I I can't open it for the same reason. If you want me to show you the yeti mug, that's okay too. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be our last giveaway. Um, if you guys have a keyword that you guys want us to use, please type on chat. Uh, how much are those mugs normally? I I don't know. <laughs> do we get employee discounts? For these? Yeah. These are not even on sale. What? Yeah, these are giveaway exclusive ish. Wait, a keyword. Huh. Mm. Huh? Who do I have to slip a 20 under the table to get one? <laughs> Me. <laughs> what? <laughs> these are commu these are community giveaway mugs, so it's under us. Okay, let's do let's do curious. Hmm? Yeah, let's do curious as the last. Since it's your first stream and it's your introduction stream. Okay. Opening giveaway for keyword is exclamation point curious, lowercase. Opening now. I think chat got. Yeah, chat got it. When's the last time that um. MapleStory had a stream. You guys did one last month too, right? Oh, no, we did it in August. August. We did it for 216, which was the Astral Blessing. 
I think that was the first one after like February. Yeah, there's been a. It's been pretty tough with everything that's been going on in the world. It was so funny. Uh, actually, have consistent live streams because, because I have to come into the office. So we were scheduling it for like, rise. We were scheduling previews, and literally the week of my stream, something would come up, like the office would close for safety measures, or like. It, it, it seems to be. Maybe I'm missing something, but it seems to be a meme at this point that there's always at least an audio or a video issue. Okay, we we barely have video issues. MapleStory always have audio issues. It's a it's a thing. Um, it's probably me. Uh, I know your streams will to probably go totally fine. Uh, whenever I have a stream, we always have audio issues. That's the first thing I check with my players. <laughs> I like how we checked for audio issues yesterday and fixed them, <sighs> and they I, still happened. I told you yesterday that something's gonna go wrong today. <laughs> Actually cursed. <laughs> Literally, yesterday we were checking things, and we were audio checking. We had like the VMs, we had him, we had everything going on, and everything was fine. And I was like, you know what? It's going way too smoothly. Something's gonna go wrong tomorrow. <laughs> And of course, it, it goes wrong. <laughs> I know, audio problems. You know what? That should be our keyword next time. <laughs> what should? Uh, audio problems. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to be closing our giveaway soon. It is 2 o'clock. Are you guys ready? I, I never had this audio issue with jittering music, though. Yeah, that's a new one. It's like we find new ways to have those issues. I know. Every single time, we have new issues coming up. So interesting. Okay. Ending giveaway in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Closing giveaway now. And picking winner. Jafar1412? Are you here? Jafar? J A F A R 1412? If you uh, yeah, are yeah, here. I'm here. <laughs> yes, yes, it's you. <laughs> if you're here, can you type on chat, please? Hey! Congratulations! Congratu congratulations on winning the slime mug. Can you please DM MapleStory and we will reach out to you for your shipment information? So please DM MapleStory. Um, and while I was reading the chat, I did see some concerns about the go double goal expandent set effect issue that I believe came up in CMST. Um, I do want to clarify that we don't have that in 217. We did confirm after that concern went live. What? <laughs> I think that's an emote name. But yeah, so just to confirm, that isn't the case. Um, for 2.17. I, I can't really promise for the future at the moment. But at least for 2.17, we got it confirmed. We're, we're aware of what's going on over there. Mm -hmm. and yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, usually we can't promise. We can't really promise what's going to happen in the future, so... What I can promise is it's not in 217. Yes. <laughs> For balance patch, we did mention it in the middle of stream, but it is not involved, or it's not included in 217. Which means our winter patch, 218 is going to be big. So just wait for that one. Oh, I'm not excited to write the patch notes for that. <laughs> but yeah, I think that sort of wraps up our stream for today. We are going to be raiding a Beam Brigade member. And it's going to be Scarver today. I know the music is constantly going on and off because I'm... I'm clicking on the game. <laughs> Thanks again everybody who came out today and welcomed me into the community, both here and in other places as well. Uh, it's been actually a, a 
pretty smooth transition over to Maple Story, so I am actually really grateful to you guys, especially the people who have been uh, on top of guiding me through the game so far. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you'll definitely learn a lot more. I'll be assisting you on the side as well. And you'll definitely learn a lot when, when our winter patch hits. <laughs> it's going to be your first peak season. Well, first one in Maple Story, yeah. <laughs> yeah, first Maple Story peak season. Hmm. I need to refresh. There we go. Okay. I think we are ready to wrap up. Are you good? Yeah, I think oh. we're good to go. Okay, so let's raid Skardor and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Yeah, see you guys on all of our other platforms. Mm -hmm. Bye bye!